A DBA, or doing business as, is essentially a nickname for your company. DBAs are not a business structure and are not separate legal entities. They also do not provide asset protection or liability protection to any type of business structure. But do you need a DBA and why would you want a DBA? In this video, we will talk about what a DBA is, when you might need or want a DBA, and the steps to go about getting one. What is a DBA? A DBA is also known as a fictitious name, trade name, or assumed name. As we stated before, it means doing business as. But what does that mean? Doing business as means that legally you are able to accept payments, open bank accounts, and market under an additional assumed name. This can be very useful for branding and business growth. So if you name your business Nick's Awesome Burgers and decide later that you want to shorten your name and call your business NAB, a DBA will allow you to legally do business as NAB. Keep in mind, however, DBAs are not a separate legal entity from your business and don't provide any form of asset protection. This means that if you're a sole proprietorship or partnership with a DBA, you still don't have liability protection. For more on liability protection, check out our article on business structures linked in the description below, or watch our video on business structures. DBAs can be used by both formal and informal business structures, and in this next section, we'll briefly break down the types of business structures and why each type might want a DBA. Do you need a DBA? There are two types of business structures, formal and informal businesses. Informal business structures are sole proprietorships and partnerships, while formal business structures are corporations and LLCs. By default, as a sole proprietorship, your business name is your surname. If you want to create a business name and start operating under that name, you'll need to file a DBA. Partnerships are more likely to use DBAs because if they don't, then their name must include the surnames of all the owners. DBAs are also useful for formal business structures like LLCs and corporations. If you decide to rebrand your business, you can file for a DBA with a new name. This can be a shortened version of the current name, an acronym of your current name, or a completely different name altogether. If you're interested in rebranding and changing your company name outright, filing for a DBA is a much simpler process than filing for a legal name change. DBAs can also be used if you want to expand your company and add new brands to your business model that you want to keep separate. If you're a burger place that starts to sell ready-made burger meals at retail, you may want a DBA to brand those differently from your restaurant. You can have any number of DBAs under a company, but more isn't necessarily better. The more DBAs you have, the more maintenance and upkeep your company will have. In addition to this, your company is liable for anything that happens to any of your DBAs. They aren't separate from your business. This means that if your ready-made burgers start doing poorly, your restaurants are liable for any debts. It may be more beneficial to have separate LLCs. DBAs are also used for banking. If you don't have a DBA, you can only send and receive payments as your business's legal name. So if you receive a check addressed to a brand you have that doesn't have a DBA, you won't be able to deposit it in your business bank account. Taxes are unaffected. Even with DBAs, you will still use your business's legal name on any official tax documents. How to get a DBA. Steps to get a DBA vary by state, so be sure to check our pages linked below for your state's specific requirements. In general, DBAs cost between $10 to $100, and as weird as it sounds, you may even need to publish a notice in a newspaper when you create your DBA. You can either follow these next steps to file a DBA on your own, or you can hire a service to do it for you. The first thing you'll want to do is a name search to see if the name is available in your state. After that, you'll want to do a quick web search to see if the URL is available. Even if you don't plan on making a website today, you may want to purchase the web domain to prevent someone else from buying it. Then, you'll want to register your DBA with the state. Depending on your location and business structure, you may need to register your DBA with the Secretary of State or with the County Clerk's Office. And with that, you'll have a DBA. DBAs, or doing business as, are trade names, assumed names, or fictitious names of a business. Informal business structures can use DBAs instead of their surnames as their business name. Formal business structures can use DBAs as a means to rebrand their name, add new brands, or change the name they are using as their business name. DBAs are not a business structure and are not separate legal entities. They also do not provide asset protection or liability protection to informal business structures. And if you form a DBA for an LLC, the LLC is still liable for any losses under the DBA. For state-specific guides on how to form a DBA, check out the pages linked below. 
And for a more detailed guide, visit howtostartanllc.com. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe for more videos like this so we can continue to deliver useful content to entrepreneurs. At The Really Useful Information Company, we wish you good luck with starting your small business.